time for another bullet journal setup but this time it will not be a monthly setup because it is time for me to get into a new bullet journal Woohoo! so I of course will flip you through this one and what I did last month and we will set up a new bullet journal today so I'm really really excited about that so uh, I'm gonna show you my First, my bullet journal. I'm gonna show you where I'm at with my happy planner and then I'm gonna tell you all about my plans for this one. So, uh, put it on pause, get a cup of coffee or tea uh, because I think this will be a very long video. So, for last month in my bullet journal, I really, really enjoyed this. So, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. So, um, I will leave the video up in the eye here where you can see how I set this one up. I use my flow book for paper lovers and some stickers. So this is a cover page. This is my calendar, my master to-do list. Then uh, here is my YouTube schedule. I really love to use this again and maybe you've noticed but I'm posting two videos a week again because I have tons of backup videos that I want to post and uh, I just need to edit them. So I'm trying to post two times a week again. Then this is my habit tracker and my brain dump. I really enjoyed having this so I'm going to take this over. Then this is my Lama's Love Lettering Challenge. Uh, I have to tell you, I didn't do it every day. I was really honest with myself uh, down here. I did catch up a couple of times, but I did do all the prompts, so that is good. So I will show you that. I really, really enjoyed doing this. I had a lot of fun and uh, it really helped me with my handwriting because I'm following um, Cindy her classes and I'm only focusing on my handwriting right now. So that is really nice and I'm really happy with how all of this looks. Some I'm not that really excited about, but it's practice, right? So then this is what I started doing for my dailies and I really, really enjoyed this. And then I started doing a weekly like this. I also enjoyed this with a master to-do list for the week and I pulled that off from the big one or some things that I know that I have to do. And these are my time set things so that I know when I don't have time to do to-dos. Uh, so this is a folder from an exposition I wanted to go to, but I didn't go to because of the concussion, I couldn't do it. Um, yeah, I'm just having fun. Uh, I set this one up with you in the surprise video, so I will also leave that up there. I did a plan with me in my happy planner and in my bullet journal with that kit. I adore the kit, so I will leave a link to the kit down below and um, which is an affiliate link, so you don't pay any extra, but I get a commission with a discount code Kira20, so you can get 20% off your first month for this kit. <clears throat> then I started to watch Grey's Anatomy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm addicted, so, <laughs> but I have still lots to watch and then this is this week today we are saturday the 30th i'm quite late to the party but well that happens when you're recovering and uh, not everything will go as planned i still have a couple of to do's but i think i will migrate them over to next week so this is my daily for today and uh, I made a list on what I want to have in my new bullet journal and after that I still have a couple of pages left but if you follow me for a longer time you know that I also make notes of my digital classes in here and I need to finish up some digital classes for this year so I want to keep the notes in this bullet journal and then all the class notes for this year are in this journal I don't know if I want to pull them over or not. I, I'm thinking about that. I'm not quite sure uh, But I want to uh, complete the class in this and I know I will not fit another month in here the way I'm doing it right now So there's my bullet journal. I will do a flip through uh, Once I got through it and covered up some personal information of other people I will do a flip through of this for you and I put it up on this channel So on to my happy planner Oh, I adore this thing. It really helps me out so, so much. So this is the calendar for June. I keep it quite simple. I just write the things in 
that I know and I just do them. <laughs> then this was my first week. I really really enjoyed this. So how this is working with me with the bullet journal is that I uh, write the things I want to do um, in here and then I make a priority list in here because I'm still recovering so I can't do too much but I'm known for wanting to do too much and thinking that there are 48 hours in one day which is not the case so um, yeah that is what I do in here I prioritize and I also um, document little things like I got mail from Sayer here and um, yeah I really really enjoyed it I got uh, the Traveling Travelers notebook uh, which is something I did with Heba and a bunch of other European ladies. So I will post that video also very soon. And um, yeah, this is the week after that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having so much fun. I set this one up with you in the surprise video that I already linked in the eye. And uh, so you can have a look at how I set this one up. And then this is this week. And I'm I'm really happy with this. Uh, I found these free printables on Pinterest. They are actually free uh, for personal use only. I think I've pinned them on my Pinterest board, so you can find that uh, in a, also in the description box. All my links are down below. So I didn't do anything for this yet, but um, that's fine. But I want, what I wanted to tell you is that I made my own stickers! Yay! And uh, I have used them over here. I will give you a close up. I will use, have used them over here. Th these are my own stickers. I made them and I love them. I'm so happy I did. And um, I also used some here. To document uh, what mail was incoming and outgoing. <clears throat> so I want to let you know that these are the principles that I created. Because they are available in my Etsy store. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to use them as well today. Um, so this is a printable. I've printed mine on sticker paper. And I have cut them by hand. These are full sheets. Um, and uh, I made some yellow ones uh, that words are saying incoming, outgoing, happy mail, respond to and get crafty. And you get a bunch of words and a bunch of envelopes. So I also made some pink and purple ones or reddish ones. And I made some green ones, which I really like. And I made, of course, some blue ones because, you know, blue is my favorite color. So these are the full sheets. I have cut them by hand with a Stanley knife. So um, as you can see, I some I cut through. <laughs> um, but I can just peel them off um, when I fancy and I can stick them in my planner. So I'm going to use these in my bullet journal and I think in my happy planner but I'm not going to plan with the happy planner today. I'm just going to do the bullet journal. But these are the printables as you see I already used some of them. They are in my Etsy store and um, yeah I would love it if you would give me some feedback on this and if there is a certain color you would like let me know and maybe I can make that for you and put that in my Etsy store. So well, that's that. That's the first supply. Then the second supply is I pulled out some washi tapes. I want to go for a pretty neutral color scheme, uh, maybe with some blue uh, for the yearly setup thing, like the future log and stuff. And I want to go for a summery vibe for July. And um, I have, oh, I also have my basket with stickers so these are the surprise sticker kits and here are the Mambi stickers I will leave down below uh, which sticker books I have so you can find them for yourself because I took them apart and organized them in my own way and then of course my pens, pencils, Crayola markers that's what I have here and then for the actual bullet journal plan I recently bought this paper crafting set at action and I really love the cactuses and the flowers and I thought it was so summery it's a spring but I feel it's summery 
and I'm going to use this in my bullet journal to set up my bullet journal in combination with the um, with the washi tapes so that is what I'm going to do that's what you're going to see me use uh, I hope you enjoy this video um, and uh, <laughs> enjoy the process like I said I think this will be a long one so take a cup of coffee because I'm already talking for about 10 minutes <laughs> see you in the process bye